Hey, good evening, everybody, and welcome. Steve from Open Bomb, and in this evening's video, I'm excited to bring to you the uh, August 2024 release of uh, Open Bomb for Onshape. Uh, we've been working on this for a while. The team has been busy. We've been listening to you. Really excited to bring some uh, terrific improvements. So I'm going to hit some of them here. So go ahead and stay with me, and let, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, uh, the UI for the settings has been significantly and completely rewritten. We now have uh, our release management settings are all in one location. Your global settings are much easier to access and make a lot more sense. Category mapping, much easier to deal with. Property, property selection uh, has a much more intuitive operation and easy access to more advanced property settings. And of course, your global settings that control Derivative files, DXFs, you know, sheet metal for uh, sheet metal parts, you know, STL generation and all that are easily access accessible. So first and foremost, that's the those are the settings. Second, and also really important, we've done away with the old plus sign uh, UI for adding bombs on drawings. Uh, bombs on drawings now are managed through the flyout, uh, the bomb flyout, uh, the open bomb flyout right in the drawing. So here's where you control uh, all your bomb table settings. You generate um, a, um, you can generate table data to use the uh, bomb insert command right in Onshape, and you have a lot more control over uh, what properties are uh, in the list. You can also insert single level, multi level. You can insert flatten if you want to keep track of if you want to put the current quantity on hand for all your assemblies or break out electrical. Uh, components by separate categories of things, you can do that now as well. So, and then finally, the settings that control how drawings are exported and updated automatically when you make uh, versions um, in, um, in Onshape, controlled right here, as well as the settings to export the PDFs. So it's a new flyout right in the drawing, gone are the old days of the, of the plus side. Um, Next, let's go back and take a look at the items, uh, the, the items um, area. The items panel on, uh, on this release gives you uh, a lot better access to the generate part number command, a lot more controls there. You now have the ability to generate part numbers only for, let's say, the top level assembly. Uh, maybe you want to recurse down in, maybe you want to generate a whole set of uh, part numbers for something that you copied and you want to override all the existing ones. So there's also some logic in here that says, look, if this number exists, don't override it. If it, uh, if it doesn't exist, go ahead and override it. So that's like your make from, uh, your make from workflow. So I'm not going to dive down into all the details there, but you'll take, take a look at that uh, in a little more detail. I think you'll find it interesting. And then last, and I guess really not last, is uh, speed and reliability. We've greatly improved the uh, speed of processing. Uh, the time to get the bombs uh, is much uh, greater reduced. We also communicate better uh, with Onshape, so you'll get more feedback about what's going on in the, um, in the flyout up here in the activity report um, in Onshape, in the notifications area in Onshape. So anyway, that's the August 2024 release of Open Bomb for Onshape. I think it's going to be out. <clears throat> this is uh, the 28th. It'll probably be out in the next day or two. Uh, look forward to hearing from you at support at openbob.com. Thanks.